you know, obviously a pretty significant day in franchise history, but in the city's history as well. Uh, what do you make of just kind of being part of this here? Well, just for you to see the design and the layout and the, all the different types of architect architecture for me, this is going to be a pretty incredible building that I think is going to, one, selfishly for our hockey team, attract players, I, I feel, and I think it's going to be a, a place that people are going to, they're going to want to spend time around. So I, the look of it is, I was a little bit blown away, to be quite honest with you, with the design that was put into that. So um, I'm excited. I wish you could fast forward a little bit right now. Yeah. <laughs> what about um, just that excitement that comes with that? Because we see it, obviously, you know, the shovels officially going to the ground, and then that leads to kind of some of that some of that excitement moving forward here, too. Yeah, well, people will see it. And that's, that's one thing when you get a new building like that. You can walk by or you can see different pictures of how it's progressing along and you almost feel like you're in it a little bit and then eventually you're going to get to the point where it's it's go time um, i love the saddle dome i've said that before i think it's a great place to play hockey um, but by the look of the design of this place the way the stands are very steep i think it's going to be very intimate i think it's going to be noisy and it's going to make for great hockey games what do you think uh, the fact that at least it's been projected that this arena could be done in like 2027 what do you think the timeline of the arena happening and obviously where this team is at with the rebuild do you think those work in conjunction at all or um, for for us we don't we don't look at that at all to be quite honest with you um, we're expecting to be competitive all the time so it's not that as a staff we're saying hey when this new building is 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 done and, and we've moved into it then all of a sudden we're going to be a good hockey team it's not the way we look at it at all we're expected to be a good team this year what's it mean to finally be here though it's been a long time coming and from an organizational standpoint to get to a milestone market like this well i think for me as an outsider for a lot of it um you know i i know there's been a lot of work that's been put into this from mr king um all the time and energy that he put into it to the um john bean now and and all of, I guess, our ownership group, you'd have to say uh, the different levels of government that have come together. It's a long time coming. Um, and for them to see it finally come to fruition, I think is something that's exciting. And um, Is there any particular feature in the new rink that you're looking forward to? Um, well, the whole design to me was very interesting, how they incorporate all the different types of fire and ice and, and air and, and land. I, I found that quite interesting. Um, the practice facility, as silly as that sounds, being underground is something that was interesting to me, but also the sheer size of the project and how they tie in the whole stampede grounds, the whole area. To me, it's going to be a little bit of a festival plaza where people are going to come and they're going to want to be around.